Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 ARs to use in Battlefield 4 for new players. Now this video is going to be part of a much wider series over here on my YouTube channel that is going to be entirely dedicated to helping you improve your game in preparation for Battlefield 2042. Now before we get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know that over 70% of you guys watching these videos recently are not subscribed to the channel. So if you find this video useful, then be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing with the bell notifications turned on so you don't miss another Battlefield Tips video. Okay, so with Battlefield 2042's announcement, a lot of new players are now flocking to Battlefield 4 to get a taste of the modern Battlefield experience. And if you've seen the server queues recently, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I want to start off this video with one of the most versatile classes within Battlefield, and that is the Assault class. Today I'm going to be using 5 different assault rifles and breaking each of them down so you know which to use and in what situation. Since most of you guys watching this will be new to the Battlefield franchise, I want to keep it simple for you. And with that in mind, I'll be talking about 5 ARs that are easy to unlock within a few hours playtime, but they are easily in my top 10 most used assault rifles within the game. Now these assault rifles will be listed in no particular order, however I will leave timestamps down below if you want to skip to a particular AR you may be interested in. Okay, so my first assault rifle I want to look at here is the AK-12. Now the AK-12 is the first AR you get to use in Battlefield 4. One of the biggest advantages this gun has is its accuracy at medium to long range engagements. The weapon is basically hitscan. Now what I mean by hitscan is if you aim almost anywhere close to your target, you're going to land your shots. Now it may not be the fastest firing or faster TTK AR in the game, but it packs a punch at these ranges. As for attachments, well obviously you're going to have to unlock these, but I personally like to run a red dot sight to improve my sight picture, an ergo foregrip to control the vertical and horizontal recoil, as well as a laser sight, and that's it basically. So moving on to my second AR now, and this is going to be the M416. Now the M416 is a beast at medium to close range engagements. It has slightly more vertical recoil than the AK-12, however it more than makes up for this in its fire rate. With the M416 you'll want to run a red dot sight, choose one of the options available to you, whichever one is most comfortable to you, and run it alongside something like a green or a red laser sight for improved accuracy, as well as an ergo grip for improved recoil control. Now, I do want to say that unlike a game such as Warzone, the attachments you place in your weapons do not affect the stats of the guns too much. However, they will make a difference when you are placed in close to long range engagements, so be sure to choose them wisely. Now, my third assault rifle that I want to take a look at today with you guys is the SCAR H. Now, the SCAR H is a funny one because I used to avoid this at all costs, and that was primarily down to its small magazine size. I find this assault rifle suits players who have an excellent aim and are efficient at hitting their shots center mass or towards the neck area where you will do the most damage, other than obviously hitting a headshot. I say this because it is a hard gun to master to get more than two kills with one magazine using the SCAR-H, and it's definitely a gun that you should use once you have mastered the basic aiming mechanics of the game, especially if you are new to PC gaming. So with this in mind, I would again run a red dot sight for improved sight picture an ergo foregrip to control the vertical recoil spread, or even an angled foregrip for improved movement speed whilst ADS'd, albeit you will receive a penalty to vertical recoil control if you use this attachment. The SCAR-H is excellent at close to medium range gunfights and excels when you tap fire the weapon in single round bursts. Okay, so we've covered a lot of content so far, but we're now onto the penultimate assault rifle, and that is gonna be the FAMAS. Now, this assault rifle in particular is one of the most underrated and underused assault rifles within the entire game. The FAMAS has one of the fastest fire rates and time to kills of any Battlefield 4's assault rifles with a 30 round magazine to go with it. Now, the reason this assault rifle is so underrated and so underused is because of another AR called the AEK-971, which we'll come onto in just a minute. Now the FAMAS has a vertical and horizontal recoil pattern which makes it hard to control without the right attachments. So we're going to go into those now. So when it comes to attachments, my go-to is a red dot sight, again for improved sight picture, an ergo foregrip for improved vertical recoil control, as well as a red or green laser sight so that you can clearly see your targets when ADS. The FAMAS is geared towards players who want a high fire rate AR for close range engagements. You can use the FAMAS out to around 30 meters and anything outside of that 
you'll see significant penalties to accuracy and damage dealt. So if I were you, I would just stick to using the FAMAS within around 20 meters or so of any targets that you see in front. All right, so with all those assault rifles in mind, we're now on to our fifth and final one for today's video. So last up here, we have the AEK-971. Now this AR has long been considered the meta to use in Battlefield 4 since its release. And it's a favorite of many fans of the game as well as all you competitive Battlefield players out there. Now the reason the AEK is so unbelievably popular is due to its high fire rate, fast TTK, and wait for this last one, low recoil pattern. Yes, that's right, low recoil. The AEK is an absolute behemoth in close quarters engagements, and the tight recoil pattern even allows you to engage targets at medium ranges with relative ease. Now as far as attachments go, I would probably put a stubby grip on for improved movement speed, slight improvement to recoil control and with little penalty to overall movement speed. Overall, the AEK itself is the most powerful of the assault rifles we've talked about today. And if you're prepared to use this AR for a few hours, then the more attachments you have at your disposal, the better this assault rifle will perform. In summary then, Battlefield 4 has a wide range of assault rifles to choose from for different ranges, and it'll all boil down to what you feel comfortable with using for your particular playstyle. So with that being said, that was my top 5 best ARs to use for players new to Battlefield 4. If you found this video useful, then be sure to leave it a like, and consider subscribing for more Battlefield Tips videos coming soon. Thank you very much for watching today, I'll catch you in the next one.